And so she's right on what I thought was that kill from yesterday. Oh no. She's on. Oh yeah, she's on the other side of the river. To the south. Or your south, southeast. So pretty much, I'd say right up on the hill, right up over here. She's yeah, looking she's great. The most days of her life. Really yeah. aware that we're here, but yeah. doesn't have any muscle control yeah. to do anything about Poor it. Thing. So. Yeah. So why are you doing this research? There's a couple of reasons. Uh, we're uh, with the the hunting initiative uh, passing in '96. There's a lot of questions that the department had about these cats and a lot of things that were pretty much unknown. It's a big push to do this research uh, to find out some of those questions about are the, is the population exploding out of control? Uh, the population dynamics of this area versus a different hunting regime like in northeastern Washington where they have the hound hunting. area of the development, what are they killing, are they causing problems eating sheep or livestock or dogs and cats or are they eating deer and elk in and around those developments. Uh, those attributes that we can identify uh, at different areas where they're killing their prey. Uh, we're looking at kitten survival. Is this a source population? Is it pumping cats out? Or is it a sink? Are the cats coming in, emigrating in and are they dying in this area? This is actually, Cleelm is a relatively stable population. It's relatively lightly hunted. Mm -hmm. um, and these cats, our cats are generally old, older than six years old. This one here is probably around 10 or 11. She's been around a while. Uh, produced several litters of kittens that have dispersed out. We've actually got two of her daughters marked uh, that are adults and producing kittens uh, in the area. And so, um, you know, we're looking at those dynamics and 
using that as a comparison so that when we go through and rewrite the management regulations on cougars, we have some science to back that information up.